Yo yo people, Gary to doing here for another video. In this video, we're gonna be playing Farming Simulator 19. And today we are gonna continue transporting the police vehicles that we started in last video. Now, we got a few new ones as well, so that's pretty cool. Here's one of the examples. This is a Sheriff Tahoe, which is a supervisor vehicle. Looks really, really cool. I love the lighting configuration. Uh, another new one we got is this Sheriff Tahoe, but this is the tactical unit, so you can tell it is equipped slightly differently. But enough with that, let's start loading them up onto the trailer. To start off, let's lower on down. There we go. And we should be good to now drive on to the trailer. So let's start, you know what, let's start with this one right over here. This is a Dodge. It is an undercover unit, blacked out windows. We can't even see through them. They're that blacked out. That is unless we poke out our head, but I don't think we're supposed to be able to do that. So yeah, let's move on through. Here we go. And here's the lighting configuration. As you can tell, very, very undercover. It would be nearly impossible to spot this thing if you weren't already looking out for it. And obviously this thing is really, really quick, so we got to be very careful. It's so easy to just fly off the front of this trailer, but that should be good. So we can turn it off and let's grab the next vehicle, which I guess means we can grab one of the Sheriff Tahoes. So we can load this thing up and here's that lighting configuration I was talking about. It has so many lights on it. This thing is not trying to be undercover in any way, but that does mean we get a very cool setup. So yeah, we'll just drive this on forward. Here we go. And I don't want to hit... Oh, jeez. Okay. I was going to say I don't want to hit the vehicle in front, and then I pretty much did. For the third and final vehicle on this load, I'm going to take another Dodge. This is a slightly different body style, but I definitely like it as well. And like always, here's the lighting configuration. Pretty nice. Again, not undercover. You will definitely know if this thing goes to pull you over. Since there's so much extra space on this trailer, let's back on up a little bit just to space this out. I am definitely a fan of our trailer setup. Let's lock down with the straps. I don't think anything actually did that correctly, but nevertheless, let's get on moving. Here we go. And we'll hit the open roads. Like always, be careful around these big turns since it's very uneven ground. If you guys wouldn't mind commenting down below, out of these three vehicles, which one is your favorite? For me, I might have to go with the Tahoe just because the lighting setup looks so cool. But I feel like a lot of you are going to like the Dodges a bit more since it's a cleaner kind of look. And here is that crazy turn that we messed up last video. Here we go. Okay, stop the stop sign or do a rolling stop, I guess. And we can see the police station up ahead, not too far away at all. So let's turn on in. Oh, geez. Okay. I completely check out that sign. That's going to cost us a bit of money. But we are here nevertheless. We'll just pretend I didn't damage anything on the way. And I quickly just want to say thank you because last time we played on this police map, you guys absolutely destroyed the video. It has over 9,000 views. So I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. Let's back on up. And I actually want to do this in first person because I love how we can have our head out the window. There's just something so cool and surreal about it. Pretty good job. There we go. And let's grab the third vehicle off. The Dodge SRT. I would say the exact name of this thing, but YouTube is going to not like that word. So we'll just ignore what its actual name is. And that should be good. Now you guys are probably expecting me to just go back with that semi truck and pick up more vehicles. But I have a surprise, so let's go get that instead. And since I never remember to actually clean up the map, I just grabbed the Tesla from the pontoon boat video. If you don't know why we use this, you might want to check that out. This thing is definitely quick. I wish our cop cars could be Teslas as well. There probably is a police Tesla out there that I just don't know about. So if that's the case, comment down below. Let me know where I can grab it, and I'll definitely use it in a future video. But in order to pick up this cool surprise, I gotta take a boat out on the water. Hopefully our Cybertruck doesn't slide in the water. But here we go, hop in this boat. Look at this thing, it's so quick. I don't know how this even exists in the game. It is built into the map directly, so shout out to Lambo for that. This is the Paradise map for anyone wondering. All right, we are approaching the dock now. Here we go, let's park up right over here. Okay, don't do not do anything weird. Why, why is the game always trying to break on me? We're going to pretend that that was a perfect parking job. 
And let's climb up these stairs and you probably can see it now. We have a sheriff helicopter. This is a H160. It looks so, so cool. Like always, I'm just so impressed by the quality of these mods. But let's hop on in the driver's seat or the pilot seat. And here's all of our controls. We can start up the blades if you see them spinning above us. I guess this is probably a better view. Look at how cool this is. Now it does take a second before we can actually fly, but it looks like we have takeoff, so let's get on moving. I'm not quite sure who figured out how to get helicopters working in the game, but whoever that was, just thank you. I really do appreciate it. I remember having them in FS17, and I was so in love with what you could do with these, and it's great to see that they have continued on to the new game. This really gives us a great view of the landscape, and right over there is the police station. I'm kind of drifting past it. I guess that is the challenge with air travel. I'm going to try my absolute best to land on this helipad. I am not the best pilot though, so just bear with me for a sec. If we don't make it first try, then we'll have to go for round two. Or maybe even round three. I really am not sure. But here we go. Okay, where it? Go, 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 go. Oh, okay, nope. We didn't quite stick it. We were close. We were close. Let's try this again. I want to see if we can spin around even. Here we go. And like back on up and down, down, down and off. It wasn't really my intentions to land that direction, but it's going to work. And as long as we didn't damage the vehicle, I'm happy with it. So once again, let's go back to our semi truck, turn on the engine, and we will go pick up some more police cruisers. You guys always wonder why I don't go out this direction. There really isn't a reason. I just forget it exists. So we'll take this route instead. It honestly doesn't change much. All it means is that we have two extra turns. Okay, I'm gaining a lot of speed. I want to see if we can follow this path. Come on, go, 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 go. Don't hit anything. I'm still pressing the pedal down to the metal. Uh, okay, where's this next turn? It's right here. There we go, there we go. We're staying on the road. Not really in our lane, but hey, can't be perfect. And then turn on in. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh, geez. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so I literally hit a pile of trash. Why in the world is this thing here? Now, is our truck still able to move? Looks like it can. Oh, wait, no, I am stuck. What if I just go back and forth a lot of times? Here we are. Okay, let's not hit that next time. All right, turn off the engine. Now, since we can only grab three more vehicles, I'm going to grab the Sheriff Tahoe simply because it's the tactical unit and I don't believe we have one of these. So let's get on moving and load this bad boy up. All right, let's pull forward right till the end or as far as we can go before falling off. And that should be pretty good. Yeah, we're reasonably center. For the second vehicle, let's go ahead and grab the Ram. And here's how the interior looks. It's pretty cool. And there's not too many lights on the back of this vehicle, but there's definitely a lot on the front. And these side decals sure do look cool on the body. And I guess this is the furthest forward we can go. I'm hoping we can still fit one more vehicle on the back. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to take the sheriff truck. There's no way this thing's fitting. So if you want me to take this in a different video, just comment down below and I will definitely grab it. I guess same thing goes for the supervisor Tahoe. So we will grab this Dodge. I guess this is the third Dodge we're using this video, but they are all different. And here is this lighting package. I really like what they did with the headlights. That's so cool. And this is as far as we can go on the trailer. It is not ideal, but we'll have to make do. So for the final time, let's put on the straps, raise the trailer, turn on the engine and get on moving. I'm going to be a little bit more careful transporting this load because if you look at the Ram, it does have dualies on the back, which is quite wide. It's pretty much the width of the trailer. So any kind of movement could make it fall off. I don't see any more parking spots. Well, okay, there's one, but that's definitely not enough for three vehicles. Luckily, I have an idea of how we could address this. The Dodge SRT is going to be first to come off the trailer. And we're going to put this in that open parking spot. It fits very nicely here beside the other undercover vehicle that is all blacked out. And for the Ram, I'm going to put it under this covered area. So we're going to have to turn this bad boy around. Here we go. It's going to be like a five point turn. There we are. Okay. Not too bad. So I'm doing this for a few reasons. One is because we ran out of space. But the other reason is because it just looks so cool. I want it to be kind of special and in a different area so we're more encouraged to take it out. 
And obviously this tactical unit is special as well. So we're going to put it right beside in the covered area. Here we go. Back up just about here. Okay, now that I look at this, why is the ram so far to the edge? All right, much better. Now we have space to actually go in and out of the vehicle. So that's the end of this video. Why not click the secret video in the top right corner? But first, make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button down below. That's also where you can find my Discord server. In the description, there are many different links such as my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and even the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye bye.